There we are. We're live. <laughs> <laughs> We're back again. Uh, Hopefully it's working this time. Back, back in town. <laughs> We're back in town. We had a little bit of a sound hiccup. Always. There's always something. Sound is always a problem. Yeah, always a problem. But and you are here besides me. Yeah, I know. Which it's is been, pretty uh, cool. Yeah, we don't need months. this overlay stuff, you know. Yeah. We don't need to... Uh, you don't need to tell the people that you're at the beach. No. <laughs> <laughs> Although I did get a little bit of color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You have been on holiday. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Uh, summertime, is, summertime is for holidays. Yeah, that's, a little bit. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, welcome back in our sleepy bird magic hands uh, yeah. thing after after we had a little bit of a hiccup with some parts and components and things like this. Yeah. But that's what we are here for and we are trying to solve problems. And uh, some people don't understand it. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, it's, it's difficult when you're so far away from production. Exactly yeah, yeah. What we're but 99.9% but of the yeah. people understand and appreciate that we all actually... Um, do our best to communicate what works and what doesn't work and uh, try to find always the best solution. Yeah, and I, I think we've got some good solutions. I think so. I think we've got some good, good solutions. Someone waking up in the morning saying, ah, I didn't think about that. <laughs> yeah. Why do I not just go down the road and yeah. ask a guy who knows about that stuff? Yeah. Specifically talking about hands. Yeah, exactly. Hands and colors. Hands colors, and that guy is literally just. Down I mean, shall we show to each other? I'm not used to that anymore because you, you are there, yeah, <laughs> in front of my screen. Yeah, we have to look at that camera <laughs> yeah. there. Yeah. So we look at each other in there. That's probably better for yeah. the audience. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, thanks everybody for joining. I know some of you are going to join later on, but if you're in the chat, for sure, ask us any questions. I see Arthur in here. I see Gordy in here. See, say hello. Hi guys, and uh, Arthur, we're going to see you tomorrow, I guess. Yeah, and, um, with, the, with the vodka. Yeah, with some vodka. Don't forget that uh, stuff. That yeah. sounds like a headache. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but uh, we've got the Super Seed Sleepy Bird pre-order yeah. underway here. and Arthur is already here. With Arthur us. is he's here with us in, in <laughs> what do you say, in heart and in, in spirit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, we got the Sleepy Bird pre-order. This is the third round that we're yeah, into right is. now. We've already had two of them. And uh, yeah, it's going, it's going really well. And this time around, we have all these new images to share on our website, which you can find there, all the different strap options you can see. And we also have things like platinum rotor upgrades and things like the great hand debate, which if you haven't been following the forum, um, we'll go into that a little bit here today to give you an idea of where we are with it and the solutions that we've come up with. So as mentioned- It's much better than when you sit beside me, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> because we have more space for the screen. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> we're not, uh, we don't have some tropical scene taking up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All the, everything that's going on. So, um, yeah, so as I mentioned, this, uh, we have the Sleepy Bird. We also have the Magic Hands. And mm -hmm. we're going to talk about events, some of that have transpired, what's coming up, turbines, and, of course, uh, a production, production update. Production, production. And uh, this has been Andy's little project exercise <laughs> <laughs> for the last number of months so his his whole thing has been making sure that we are set for not only k2 um, but future um, watch projects that we have coming into into the works because um, in the last year as most of you know the swiss watch industry has been burdened with uh, a lot of backlog in production and the number one goal for us is to make sure that we are as independent and self-sufficient as possible and to basically triple up on everything that we've had in the past. So everything's moving really, really well. And uh, Andy doesn't have a tan because he's been in the, in the office here making sure that forbidden. your watches get out the <laughs> Forbidden door. to go yeah. to, uh, and, and to be honest, you know, I mean, it's the best time to stay in Switzerland. I mean, where everything, everybody is having droughts and whatever, south of the Alps. Mm -hmm. Here it was also pretty dry, my garden is yellow. But at the end of the day, it's good to stay here. We have nice lakes, can go swimming there. And uh, it's, it's a good place. It's a good time to, to stay in Switzerland, I would say. I would go to Italy after everybody has come back. Yeah. And it's also a nice time to do some work because most of the watch industry is on holiday. Sleepy bird or something yeah. like yeah. that. <laughs> they're, they're also playing the sleepy they bird do, They do the sleepy bird thing. Yeah. <laughs> so... Um, where should we start here, Andy? Uh, yeah, you did, you did the slides this yeah, time, I did so the slides I'm following you and I'm right flipping there. into the next slide. Into the next slide. So we have talked about Sleepy Bird pre-order, Magic so Hands. So here, 
And so, yeah, what is it all about? We started on August 16th, so that was yesterday, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, what day is it today? Wednesday or Thursday? Um, we started on August 16th at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, Swiss time, and we're going till the 19th, so the 72 hours. Just happens to be the same amount of power reserve as the uh, K2 movement. I move us down there. All right, we look <laughs> great down there. And uh, we have, uh, it's starting at 5,500 Swiss francs. So that includes all the shipping, tax, duties, no matter where you are in the world. Um, we'll get it to you and that's inclusive. And if you'd like, because we know that watches are pretty addictive, um, we have a split payment option at 2750 and uh, you pay the 2750 now. And then in three months time in November, the remainder will be due then. Um, and so we also have a nice little upgrade as well. We mentioned this, uh, I believe it was in July. Yeah. We, uh, we started with it feels like months ago now, but we went with the uh, PT950 Platinum Upgrade. And PT950 is actually a Swiss PT hallmark. PT reminds me of the PT Cruiser. That's a bad comparison, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Please, we're, we're, not, we're not going with that. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know what I'm talking about. I know. Huh? What, uh, yeah, this is the, the rental car you get when you go to the USA. I mean, yeah, because nobody a wants you to buy it. <laughs> yeah, but actually, every, <laughs> this is actually the PT you want to upgrade to. <laughs> you never want to upgrade to the PT Cruiser. So, <laughs> so for Shall this, I show this slide actually. What, a PT Cruiser? No, no. You know, I mean, you know, the, you know the arguments on the PT 950 because you have a nice slide in there. Okay, sure. So here, here we are. And no, what do we have that? We, we, have, it on the, uh, we have it on the other one there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have a, a watch here on the screen where we've actually taken the strap off so you can see what it looks like in the image. Um, as you can see, it's marked with the, with the Orage H and the PT950 Platinum. And uh, it is the most dense I need to move um, back up here. material that we could actually um, source mm. uh, for the micro rotor. And what's important for micro rotors is having the most dense um, material because that increases the rewinding efficiency. Yeah, but I think we have been good already. No, so honestly, good enough. The so there's, there's not um, due to the basic organization of the gear train and, and things like this. Gold would have been borderline, I would say. Is that borderline? Is that right? So at the border, yeah. Yeah, gold is borderline. Gold would be borderline, probably still acceptable, but not uh, according to our understanding. Tungsten what it was planned for mechanically and, and adding a little bit of extra weight through platinum is good. But, but, but the, is main, the main point, it's, yeah. it's damn cool. Yeah, it is super cool. <laughs> I mean, so, <laughs> you know, to, to take it very simple. <laughs> yeah. it, and that stuff is damn hard and it's, it's, not, it, it's not easy to machine. And, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a very delicate material eh, to work with. Yeah. And uh, the other thing, I mean, with, with regards to tungsten, it is considered a premium uh, material in the Swiss watch industry, whereas uh, sometimes there's brands mixing, mm. right? Tungsten, brass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. some, some uh, alloys, alloying mm -hmm. kind of thing. But I, I still remember we were discussing heavily about the cost. Yeah, I mean, it's a serious cost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it's, uh, I mean, the 390 upgrade upcharge is pretty much what it, what it costs us. Yeah, well, we work with a three, three and a half yeah, time multiplier. Somewhere, yeah. 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 yeah, that, that would fit into the regular margin system of a, of, a, of a company like we run our business. And, mm -hmm. and so in that case, I think it's a, it's a good deal. And as far as we can see, most people also choose that option because it's... Yeah, right now, yeah. And, uh, and there's a lot of people upgrading from that took part in the other pre-orders. Can we show that in so life? I have my camera here. Oh, what do we have here? Uh, too many guys. straps here straps in the way uh, let me go into the different uh, all right magic I'll look here at the comments PT Cruiser is a strong competitor to the Fiat multiply <laughs> as the worst <laughs> car in the world very good part, point out there yeah, yeah. definitely yeah. An, an amazing comparison yeah so so oh there it is there it is yeah, looks nice. And it looks really good with that uh, with that bridge. With I the, cannot take away the that that yeah. thing here right now. I yeah, probably can do it like that. Yeah. I I, I didn't expect it to be so interesting from 
from the view, but because in the beginning you see, ah, the other thing is gold and then it fits better, that would be the natural reaction on, 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 on this. But this silver look, this platinum look, mm -hmm. makes it a little bit more... Yeah. It's not so, yeah, I'm, everything is the same color thing, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and that's why, why, why I like it. We are out of the screen here. There we are. Oh, back. Back yeah. with the push button. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, it's uh, yeah. We are we are very ha very happy. We have both, so uh, and the people have freedom freedom to choice. Can you just choose. pull the buckle up a bit or turn it on an angle so we can see it yeah. a little better? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. 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 That's Picking. really good. Yeah. So uh, somebody was asking here. Uh, Joe was asking. Just curious. Is the design of the screw down back the final? I noticed that there are no grooves for the opening tool to grapple. Grapple on. Curious how one will open the case back. Uh, you take a rubber. Yeah, so it's like a rubber, um, it's almost like a squash ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah good yeah, thing. Yeah. And, uh, and you press it down and uh, you screw it into place. Whereas if you have the grooves, you run the risk of scratching. Yeah, um, the, yeah, and the screws well. usually do not actually distribute the force evenly over a relatively slim frame of metal. So when, oh, yeah, yeah th that's the main problem actually. Okay. The, 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 the screws actually, this type of full screw type um, distributes the, the pressure on the seal more evenly. It doesn't distort actually the, the part itself. That is the main So point. you get a better seal all around. Yeah, better yeah. seal. And we discussed this with Lenny a lot and said, do you really need this kind of, do you need something to hold it? And he said, no, the rubber is enough. Okay. It's big enough to, to open it and, and we trust in our capability to make good threads, mm -hmm. a big, nice, well done thread and then you can open it easily. Yeah. Okay. So that yeah. answers that. I hope that answers your question, Joe. Um, Frank is asking, will the back of the movement be anodized black like shown in the slide? It's actually a black gold. It's uh, black gold, yeah. Uh, plated. So um, it just plays. The problem the is always the light here. Yeah. I told you I need better cameras. We need more lights, we need more cameras. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not so... I mean, in the beginning I was super stoked by this uh, elbow projector which I'm using, but mm -hmm. now our, our level is going up. So yes. expectations are going up, not only of our people who watch us, but also myself. And, and I'm really getting angry when the light is so mm -hmm. different from what I see. Yeah, and, and we're actually going to move, hopefully. Even too, I mean, she shouted at me yesterday, this doesn't look like <laughs> it is in reality. I said, I am terribly sorry, I don't have better cameras right now. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to work on better cameras and a better studio space. Uh, so it's not just Andy and me. Against, yeah, and don't forget, I want to have this robot arm above me with a camera, okay. which I can with a joystick, you know. Yeah, 13 drones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping in watches here and there. Um, okay, good, so, good. so yeah, that black gold, it just mm. depends on how it's finished because it, it comes through as either a really dark black to a gray and has some silverish look to it as well Let sometimes. See if I can. So it just depends on how the light is uh, playing with it there. Uh, I'll look at some more questions here. Let me see if we can do something. We have um, this magic. Oh, the, oh, that looks different. <laughs> All right, so we answer those questions. So um, That is the gold version, huh? Yeah, and we have the gold version here, so let's slide that over and have a look at the gold-plated tungsten. Yeah. You may want to flip it around. It's upside down right now, Andy. Yeah. The gold one, I mean. Yeah, no, I, I flipped it around because then I can get closer. Or maybe just zoom out a little bit. Yeah. Let's bring it up a little bit. There you go, a yeah. bit more. There we go. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's so difficult to, to show that's probably how it looks. Yeah, mm, probably like that. Mm -hmm. oh. Hard to judge, I have yeah. to say. Yeah, okay. Ah, what else do we have? Do we have other light here? There you go. Yeah. Zoom that in a little bit more. Ah, there we are. Now we are getting yeah. there. Huh? Yeah. That's better. Oh, you see that oh. texture into yeah. the... Yeah, that's better. So just a little bit of fine-tuning here yeah. for, for the image. Um, good, good. Okay, and the other thing is, uh, you know, if you had missed any of our forum posts, we've talked about the 200 meter rating. So we did achieve 200 meters of water resistance, which is quite impressive for this very, very... Do we have a slide for profile. that? 
um, watch. I don't think no, we have a slide, no. but before we jump over, um, mm. we were just talking about the rotor before. Mm. And uh, again, it's a 390 Swiss franc upgrade. Mm. And later on, once it goes into regular retail pricing and in, into our shop after all the pre-orders are done, it'll be a 1200 Swiss franc upgrade right. because yep. we actually have to keep these lights on and get yeah, cameras. The cameras. <laughs> <laughs> Getting a couple of cameras. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, then we let's probably get into this um, hands discussion. Yeah, so we can jump into the hands discussion because we did have a big discussion on this uh, last month. Um, reason being is that the initial solutions that we came up with, we weren't too happy with how they were turning out in production. Is this new or old? Both of them are new. Both of them Both are new. Of them are new. Oh, yeah. Okay. I do not have, have something shitty to show. Yeah. Okay. I have something. Wait. I need to see how it looks. Like my Jake. Somebody's asking, is this a real 200 meter for diving? A real 200 meter is a, it's an ISO. What is it? Uh, what is the ISO rating uh, for that? Because there's a few other processes that are steps that need to go into, into the, the ISO rating for what's considered a, a real diver and just based on the timeline of production and bringing this to to market we that was a shitty that was the shitty stuff yeah this was color wise yeah. so we're, we're jumping from meter yeah, rating yeah. here andy to hands <laughs> so uh sorry yeah <laughs> so I can't, sorry you know that. men did multitasking you know no that doesn't work no. for, for, <laughs> for the male guys that's why we have two brains in here. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. talk about ISO and I talk about the yeah. color problem. Okay. Um, no, but this was working. basically what you see on the screen is what, what we got from our way of mixing orange with an applicable color to mm -hmm. a hand via our hands maker. And that, without having to say too much, mm -hmm. was not acceptable. Yeah. And then that this led us to uh, trying stuff and we want to have the, we, 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 because we really couldn't get a loan with the help of someone else the the orange which we wanted to have and then we nearly wanted to skip that whole thing mm -hmm. and remove the glow and then the whole explosion started obviously yeah and uh, yeah justified also you know no question about that mm -hmm. and and then uh, one day in the morning my wife got up and said I have an idea <laughs> <laughs> and, and the idea she, was very close by. And the idea was <laughs> 300 meters close by walking down to a guy who is the Mr. Mr. Luminova mm -hmm. and uh, and he actually she asked him if he has uh, some some orange and then he pulled out the version number 4 which you see here um, and he's, that, yeah. this one yeah so he pulled out that orange uh, a piece of yeah. paper sample piece and in general, you can say, you know, the Superluminova stuff doesn't really comply with regular Pantone color systems. Mm -hmm. So you can't just go into a Pantone color catalog and say, I want that, uh, because yeah. it's just some different, the pigmentation and all this kind of stuff is very different. Mm -hmm. But he had obviously something which very much catered to what we wanted to have. And he, before his holiday, he filled uh, one gram mm -hmm. uh, into... Uh, it was literally uh, the day before his holiday. Uh, one day before his holiday and said, give me this gram and we sent to the um, to the hands maker and they applied it and sent us back mm -hmm. uh, some samples and what you see is actually and and believe me also in that camera because I fought with my wife yesterday on that <laughs> it doesn't look like in reality yeah I know but camera and light you know I'm yeah. still playing around with that and we got we installed it then here into that watch and it looks, then it pretty, looks good. pretty good yeah. yeah yeah you see it's totally different when you have it just on a piece of paper like here it looks again different mm -hmm. but that's that's what we want to have so i would say spot on yeah, it's uh, when you see it in person, it matches exactly how we had it with the renders in the in the earlier stage, which everybody obviously got behind. And when we announced that we were having to update this color, um, people were noticeably upset. But the color is now matching exactly how we intended it to to look. Yeah, it glows orange as well in the dark. Yeah, 
which is quite cool to see. Um, I'll be taking some photos can and I, can I posting them later that? on. I try. Well, we have the, the charger there. Yeah, you ch I charge, charge it, it and up. then I switch off that light and see if something happens. All right, let's see. Let's see. You talk. All, All right. right. So let's see. So, um, so anyways, I'm going to go back to the real sliced bread. Um, some competitors claim 100, 200, and 300 meter water I didn't resistance. try that before, by the way. Huh? Yeah, 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 no problem. <laughs> and he's playing around here. Um, yeah, but I'll be taking it in the water. We actually have some others that have taken it in the water. We Too have much had, light, uh, yeah. Benson, who is one of our ambassadors. He's based in Taiwan. He's taken it on, a, on an Ironman uh, competition. And uh, yeah, it fared really, really well for him. So I'll... Like I said, I'm a diver. I want to be taking it in the water. We have more people that are going to be taking these in the water as well. And uh, yeah, we look to, yeah. uh, to prove its water yeah, it's resistance rating in, in that regard because one thing in the laboratory, it's another yeah. thing in real life. The yeah. camera takes it out. Yeah, so it's a little bit difficult to show it here on the camera, oh, yeah. but I'll take some images afterwards, um, make a forum post to update you. We literally just had these hands finished before we went live here on, on YouTube. And so we haven't had any time with the watches at all. And as you can see in that light, the, the orange is really smooth. It's, it's really, really quite bright yeah. and uh, matches exactly the aesthetic that we wanted to come away with. So I'm, I'm pretty happy. Yeah. Damn good watch. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited by myself. No, it's really good. It's. Yeah, I'm, I'm super happy that we got over that problem. It's, uh, it, it was, it's, it's never comfortable when you have this, um, when you get, get away, especially on colors. I mean, you can mm -hmm. talk about, you can argue and discuss about it endlessly. Yeah. And everybody sees it a little bit different and yeah. everybody has different lights. And, but I think overall, the overall color choice for hands and for dials is now the right thing mm -hmm. now it, it is like it should be yeah so we had um so just to back up a little bit on our next slide we show some of the the, um, the options we looked at as we were getting to this point mm -hmm. uh, because we have the, this hand overview chart that andy put it together which shows the the different solutions mm -hmm. and we went from solution zero yeah yeah didn't um, work didn't work because it just uh, didn't, the didn't the luminous turned off turned out like yeah. uh, what did somebody say it looked like lemon chiffon yeah <laughs> <laughs> so uh, thanks John that's how it, uh, that's how it turned out we wanted it to be orange but it turned out more lemon and it had a you know very sandpapery yeah. type texture yeah. to it we weren't yeah. happy with it uh, so we went with uh, solution one point one yeah. which was orange but no luminous yeah yeah we still have something like this here now yeah. Because we made for emergency yeah, we made, backup, you yeah. know, for, for emergency reasons, we made this, this orange. But, but it looks more red here now on the camera than in reality. No, that, that, one, that one is this varnish. One, yeah. That one's varnish. Yeah, but that's not yeah. luminous. Okay. That was yeah, yeah, yeah. the same. That, yeah. That's actually yeah. the same these like ones the one here are, one. These ones are the ones on the watch. Yeah, these, these ones are the ones the on the watch. And that's, uh, no, that's the white on the coating. Ah, yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah. This is the white. So mm -hmm. the Luminous from Mr. Luminous, mm -hmm. the magic orange with a white ground finish okay. comes out like that, a little bit too bright. White, too, 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 too yellowish, lemon. too, too lemonish. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> lemon show. Uh, yeah, and then uh, with the yeah. orange underground finish, mm -hmm. it comes out like that. Yeah, and because we didn't know how it comes out, we actually asked the supplier to also make just the orange without any luminous. glow, luminous. Yeah, so it's just varnish. Yeah, everything is there now, and we're on the safe side. And uh, I think it's no question to choose that. Mm -hmm. um, Going back to our screen face thing. Yeah. So this was pretty much the second thing we have been discussing. Um, and then, of course, there is a big discussion about, I mean, you know, I have learned one thing in, in this whole watch industry and especially when coming as a consumer in the industry mm -hmm. and then being confronted with consumers as a direct brand and to be honest, even if it makes sense or not, when stuff glows, it is preferred. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. it. Um, need it or not, it's, it's like, uh, I don't know how do you can compare that. There are some things in our life which are just as they are, no matter if you need it or not. In bike business you have a yeah. lot of that stuff. Yeah, and Luminous is one of them. Luminous is one of them. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and perhaps, yeah, some designers would say you do not need that or whatever. But at the end of the day, in this case, yeah, a customer has the advantage of being the customer and can voice his concern. Mm -hmm. and, and we are doing good to follow that and try hard to, to get into that direction. Mm -hmm. And I think that, yeah, and, and this was driving. And then we were, because we didn't have the solution at this time, we were playing around with red, yeah. which, uh, of course, uh, mainly in the Chinese speaking um, culture is very welcome, but red doesn't blow, uh, was, was a non-luminous thing. Yeah. Uh, because yeah, red is just a very important culture in the, in the, Asian, uh, in the Asian area. And then because we were desperate, mm -hmm. <laughs> there was Mr. Lollipop to mm -hmm. have non-glowing, uh, but something glowing, orange mm -hmm. non-glowing, but something on the, on the, fla on the flake. And finally, we come to solution two, and that's what you have seen in the watch. And, and it says on there, yes, if the result is good, and the result is good. So yeah. this is now the standard. So that's the standard we go for. If we go to the next slide, oh, uh, let me I put show up here. it again. The next yeah. slide already. Uh, okay. Are we there? Yeah. So we talked about uh, the magic orange, so mm -hmm. improved luminous quality, orange undercoat for the best color depth. Mm -hmm. Consistent color in earlier communication, so exactly what we talked about, what we communicated, what we've shown everybody, and it's offered in all pre-orders. So um, everybody will get this unless they specify they would like to have the red hands, which we've also we have as, as an option. So you mm -hmm. have the option to go with red non-luminous, or you can go with the the orange um, luminous for anybody yeah. up until now. We only and, and just some some technically background information. You know, I have been saying last in one of our last uh, where, where afterwards this discussion we were trying to settle around that that um, in fact a new color needs tooling mm -hmm. and someone disagreed with me on that um, pretty strongly i would say yeah <laughs> a little bit <laughs> um, uh, but but reality is yes it needs tooling because you need the, the factory calls it tooling but you need to set up a new standard operating process you need to mix it, you need to have a minimum quantity and so on and so on. For a factory, that means tooling. Mm -hmm. uh, in a dial factory, it's not a stamping tooling, but it's a process tooling in order to mix your recipe, yeah? Yeah. To, to mix it together. So I, I didn't say something just out of the top of my hand. Um, um, I, I said something which, which is correct. And, uh, and that is the terminology to... that's used in the industry. Yes, it's, it, for us it's tooling, yeah. Yeah. Um, but in fact, it's, it's a new standard operating process in, in which actually it's defined of how do you get to your color. And when there's a new color, you will be charged also this extra amount of money. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Understandable. Yes. Yeah. And, and because, you know, I mean, we are talking about very, very small quantities which you need for the hands, but mixing up the stuff mm -hmm. is, you, you need minimum quantity in order to make that, also yeah. for sampling, because- The sampling charges you can crazy. You can't, you can't make zero point something micrograms. Mm -hmm. And, and when, when a gram costs probably 60 or 100 Swiss francs, mm -hmm. you can't mix a gram, you know? It's very small. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so that's, that's where we are, and I wanted to get this straight, um, just for my personal well-being. <laughs> yeah, no, and yeah, it's, uh, it, it, any reiteration to, to a watch in any capacity, you know, mm -hmm. whether it's something as small as changing a color on a hand, to a dial, to I want to move this over there. I mean, mm -hmm. you get a lot of crazy requests sometimes, you know, can't you just put this over there? I mean, mm -hmm. we're talking about... In that case, usually a complete movement redesign. Yeah. You know, um, and any of those things, uh, they, they, they come at a can be at a at a cost and some of that significant cost and development yeah. timeline. So we have to take these yeah. very very seriously and make also sure. because the suppliers are getting angry. Yeah. Uh, that's the problem. So yeah. a lot of people um, cannot or have a hard time saying no to some tries. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and the result is that suppliers don't want to make stuff for them anymore. 
Yeah. And, and that's something we definitely want, do not want to have because when you're already a small company, you need to make sure that from the first shot, you actually um, get as close to what you get and you have one or two revision and that's it. Mm -hmm. But if you come around with 50 different pieces, you can't decide on what you want to do, then the supplier says, hey, yeah, those guys are dreamers. Yeah. Get the hell out of my way. So. Yeah, and then they won't work with you anymore. Yeah, and then, and, then uh, and, and, and hand suppliers is not easy to find, you know. Yeah. I mean, there's really not many, same like dials. It's, dials are probably a little bit more, but hands is very specific stuff. Okay. Okay, um, so, um, I didn't have this other slide which you had here. Yeah, but we so. We don't need it anyhow. Yeah, we talked about it. So we yeah, have we the talked magic about orange, it, uh, and we also have the, the yeah, red 180C. Yeah, yeah. Um, so if you want to move to the red 180C, you just write us a little email. Yeah and we'll update your order. But we'll have a maximum of 250 uh, pieces for that. So when they're gone, they're gone. Um, but I believe the orange is the optimal solution because I've been wearing actually the, the red one. This, this previous week I've been traveling a lot. Uh, I've been over into the US and back again. And with that, uh, with that red hand, I did notice that it was um, getting a little bit lost in the day and night indicator. Um, whereas with the orange, it was it still really popped out. So, I I would have preferred to have had that then. Um, but obviously, we just got the the orange hands yesterday. We put them on the watch today, and now I see it, and it's exactly as it should be. So, well, I'm probably gonna show that again. Huh? Yeah. Uh, because it's worse to look at it. Yeah, well, that's what people, they don't want to yeah, look at they, us they, all the time. They, they don't want to see us all the time, you know, yeah. the, the, the two, the Muppet Joe guys. The Muppet. <laughs> we, we, are, we are there. We are oh, there. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, what else is going on? So we have these um, two watches here right now, the, the Boreal Green and we have the, uh, the 12 o'clock white. We do have a few other dial colors, um, but they're not built into watches right now because we've had a, as we just talked about it, cost a lot to prototype and build all these watches and they've gone out to media. So if you've been following uh, the content recently, we've had uh, Warren and Wound, Time and Tide, Houdinki, um, there's uh, Scottish watches. Um, all of these guys have had watches in their hands and we've had to send those out. So we're now trying to bring them all back in. And in a future um, uh, live stream, we'll have all these colors built up together uh, to be able to show you them all in the road. But right now we've, we're pretty sparse on samples just because they're traveling the globe and slowly making their way back home. What else is going on? <laughs> oh yeah, what do we have in there? Andy's, Andy's uh... The first beer for the first gear. First beer for the first gear, you're jumping ahead. We haven't got yeah, to Yeah, yeah, you continue. I just stuff. look up some pictures here. Yeah, okay. Andy, Andy's in a, in a different world here, so. <laughs> um, so what are we, Andy? Yeah, we are. I know, I know you can't do two things at once. But yeah, you, you say I'm sure what I people have to want do. to uh, see some watches. So yeah. let's look at some of those dials that you have there. Mm -hmm. And we look at some of the rubber straps as well okay. and the finishes. So the first thing we start with is going to be the bracelet. Yeah. So you have the two options in pre-order to go with either the, uh, the brush center link or the polished center link. Yeah. And we'll just zoom out a bit there. And... Uh, And so you can see here, as the light is playing with that polish, you can see it almost goes completely black and it just depends on how the light is hitting it. But the, uh, the, the brush stays pretty consistent across it. So um, if you're looking for something that is a little bit more um, classy, you can dress up. Um, the polished is definitely the one and uh, the, the brushed is kind of a go anywhere, do anything type, type look. Um, it goes from 22 millimeter down to 16 millimeter, the, the taper, so it has a really nice elegant taper to it and uh, the um, uh, the end link um, will be either brushed on the on the brush version and polished on the polished version um, the the actual lug width is 22 and with the end link it goes down to uh, what is it in the on the inside dimension I believe it's 12 on the inside. Um, no. yeah so um, somebody was asking about that in the in the comment as well and then the the standout piece for the actual bracelet is the micro adjustment buckle yeah, which has been tested so we send it into a laboratory which is a, a, a private or not private independent laboratory and they've they've tested this uh, to make sure that it is uh, performing as we had developed it 5,000 actuations 
Um, is there anything else you want to add to that, Andy, that laboratory process? Um, Labor du Bois. Yeah. Standard testing process. Mm -hmm. So usually 5,000 activations. You're passing that easily. Mm -hmm. um, and it worked out of the gate. So I'm, I'm surprised. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus did a good job. Yeah, Thank you, Marcus. Uh, my rule of three didn't work yeah. this time. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, when you in detail, when you say, of course, you make it also three times, but but a mechanical construction working from the first time is, is yeah. pretty rare. Or I show it, huh? Yeah. I'm still trying to practice. Well, it's tough to do it in a camera and look at a screen yeah. <laughs> and everything else. So basically, I unclip it there, and then you have the these. Um, yeah, you just push down like so, and then you can adjust and you can just push in. So when it's on your wrist, you can actually push it in as well. So yeah. just by cinching it up. Super smart design. Really never seen something like this in the watch industry. In detail. And then... And the profile matches the case. Um, 4.95? 5.6. 5.6. Thank you. So 5.6 millimeter uh, thick or thin in that case. Yeah, and some some of you want to have the had requested a a brushed and a polished. Um, so we do have that in the store My as well. My fingers are dirty. Sorry. Yeah. We have oh. to, Maybe we should get some nice leather gloves or something. You know, something yeah, fancy. Probably. Driver's gloves or something. <laughs> so we don't get fingerprints all over this stuff. Um, but yeah, so you have the option of the two bracelets if you want to order an extra also one. The also, the click is store. pretty good, huh? Yeah. You hear that? Oh, yeah. the click is super good. Yeah. yeah. That's what makes the, the watch. Uh, That's, and I have it on my wrist. I'm playing uh, with that perfect. all the time, opening and closing it. And then uh, we have rubber straps as well. So yeah, anybody that's that's ordering that away. The, 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 the full price version, you get one of these rubber straps, colors of your choice. So we have the blue, we have the red, gray. Gray is looking a little, because of the light in here right now, it's a little bit warm. Black. It's looking a little bit yellowish, but it's yeah. actually a very nice gray. Shall I and take the, black as well. the yellow out of the light? Maybe just, yeah, tune that out. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, uh, that's a bit better. Yeah, so we have the, the the rubber strap options. Really nice, low profile, quite quite supple, quite easy to put on your wrist. Mm. Typically, when you get a new rubber strap or rubber straps in general, they're usually quite thick and they yeah. take a while to uh, to to break in. I find. It looks and uh, if they do it all, thing. these are already very comfortable. If we can get it up there. That's better. Yeah, that's better lighting there. That's more representative of it. Of two different lights. Wrong watch. <laughs> Wrong watch though. <laughs> and he's wearing the multiplier. Yeah. Yeah. We'll take that off. We we'll put that that one. With on. a pretty rotten leather strip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's well loved. It's well worn. Yeah. It turns from blue to brown right now. Yeah. Yeah. Shall we put that watch here? Huh? It sits so well on the wrist. Yeah, this is a good watch. Who made that? <laughs> do you know the guys who do that? Huh? I heard. I, I, yeah, I heard they, <laughs> they know a few things about watches. Yeah. yeah. Uh, where is my, oh shit, where is my, yeah, sorry. I yeah. think you twisted the camera position. I did. Yeah, it's your fault. I, I, don't, I don't think I, t I didn't even touch it. Uh, I haven't been here for a month. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, worth definitely worth to uh, look at it as an option for some people's waiting list problems. For sure, there's a wait, but we yeah, have we we have also a wait, but some others have three to ten to decade long wait. So lists. probably why not buying that watch in between <laughs> and wait for the other one. And you get the employee of the month, salesman of the month, <laughs> and the up on the wall. <laughs> yeah, and sometimes you need to tell the people that, that this is an option, you know. Mm -hmm. Can you put on the other one? Uh, uh, yeah, bracelet? yes, of course. With the magic adjustment. 
Mm-hmm. Where are we? Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Yes, looks good. It's a little bit whiting out here. Huh? Yes. Uh, Too much light. There we go. That looks good. Yeah. Good. Good. All right. So we looked at the watches. We looked at the straps. We looked at the bracelet. Micro adjustment. And we also have some dial colors there, too. But Andy's just daydreaming right now. <laughs> <laughs> My head cannot go into that. <laughs> yeah, well, just the camera after. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, um, and then we have some, some dial stuff there too. Dials, yeah, but you don't have a lot of dials because they are either traveling around the world. So we have obviously that. Mm -hmm. And we have that. And we have these two guys. Zoom out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Good. What's missing? Light blue. Uh, the, that is a light blue. That, that is light blue. Ah, the other blue. Yeah. The other blue. And the other blue is. Uh, I probably can take over. The other blue is in the, in the US right now. Yeah. Traveling. Good. Yeah, but for the for the dark blue, um, was it worn and wound? Mm -hmm. No, it was uh, it was time and tide in Australia. They did a, a nice uh, article on it. Some really good the traveling dials in a, in a video. <laughs> so definitely be sure to check that out. Uh, too much, too much light here. Too over there. There we go, Andy. Yeah. yeah, good. All right, we went quieter here in the comments, in the chat. Oh, like that. Let us know if there's anything else you want to see or any questions you have here. Um, but yeah, that lighting looks pretty much on point right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With regards to how the auto blue looks, how the gray is, how mm -hmm. the white is, the green. Yeah. Just missing that dark blue, the transatlantic blue. Okay. And I'm trying to find a file. Okay. Okay. So. Next. Uh, next is. It's not time to check your text messages. No, no, no. You just no. talk. I, <laughs> I look for something because we want, we want to talk about what's going on. So somebody had asked. Let's look at some of these questions. Go back a little bit. See if, so how many requests have you had for orange rubber straps? I've had a few. A few. Yeah. Yeah. Um, had a bracelet end link question I asked too earlier. All right, what is the bracelet end link question? I quickly send you something. Uh, with the bracelets now, what is the end link to end link measurement? Uh, lug to lug kind of. Do you mean lug to lug? Mm, I guess so. Yeah, uh, lug to lug is uh, 46.7, is it? Somewhere mm -hmm. around there, I believe it is. Um, don't have that right I'll go right on here on the on the website and have a look here I think we have it actually um, listed there just one moment we'll bring that guy up yes let's have a look and the specs a lot of images here okay. Lug to lug is 46.29 millimeters. So pretty comfortable for, for most wrist sizes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So Andy, uh, we're getting off topic here. About the length of the lime on the second hand. Oh, Isn't it out of proportion? Very important topic here. Sending complete. I'm trying to send you something which I want to show here. Okay. Yeah. All right. So as I did it, he's asking. I guess I'm asking if the end link is solid and hangs slightly beyond 46 millimeters. Can you hand me the, the watch there? 
have a look here. Right, I give you. End link. Yeah. In here? No, no, it's it's two pieces. It's two pieces. It's two yeah. pieces. Otherwise it looks cheap. Yeah. It's two pieces. You need this first, you call it first link. Yeah. First link actually yeah, yeah. connects to the case and has this interface section. Mm -hmm. And you need to have a little bit of a visible step so that mm -hmm. you get a shadow edge or something like this. Okay. I don't know how you call it in, there in, it is. in English. Yeah. Um, yeah, and, and that's how it works. The length of the loom on the second hand. Can you, uh, Andy? Yeah. Do we have um, link on the loom? What, uh, what, uh, the Arthur is asking if the 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 um, the length of the loom on the second hand if it's in, in the same proportion as what we originally had. Yes. It is, should yeah. be exactly yeah, the yeah, same. Yeah. 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 Shouldn't change the drawing. No. no. Okay. So there you have it. It's the same, Arthur. Yep. Um, so I'll give it another okay. try. So Andy's trying to find some images right now and uh, not quite sure, but we have some more updates. So maybe we'll jump to those. And as you guys think about any more supersede questions, just feel free to ask and we'll ask them as we go through. So I think the next thing we were going to be talking about is uh, general updates stuff mm -hmm. events. Yeah. Can you go to that slide there, Andy? Um, yep. Yeah. What is going on? Yeah, so uh, next week, the 25th, finally got my flight correct. Um, I'll be going to, uh, <laughs> to Scotland to meet up with uh, James Porter and Son. So they're a retailer um, based in the Argyle Arcade in Glasgow. And uh, yeah, beautiful new store they have there. We're going there. 25th to. Yeah, talk about Superseed and uh, to meet with anybody that wants to come by and have a chat and go through all the details in person. So if you're in Glasgow, definitely come by. Oh. Um, just the previous week. Um, We're going here. <laughs> just the previous <laughs> week, um, I was in Los Angeles. We did a watch meet up there. And we're planning on doing some more watch meetups in the future. So if you're part of a watch club, a red bar, um, any of these other uh, watch clubs, send me an email. Um, and yeah, just at lostintime.arage.com and uh, let me know where you think it would be interesting to see any of these watches in person. We just did a red bar Taiwan, yeah, uh, and uh, that was uh, yep. that was uh, that actually worked out really well. So we're gonna have that actually coming up on the YouTube. We had a video of that, um, it's both in uh, in Chinese and in English, mm -hmm. yeah. So we had an enthusiast that you know, spoke both English and Chinese, and uh, and so. It, It'll be partially subtitled and and not and mm. yeah I think Mark will have it up within the next day or so. So um, that is there media coverage in the latest forum post I put up uh, yesterday was it or the day before uh, we talked about a lot of the media coverage that we've had so Scottish watches um, they were out here mm -hmm. uh, we met with them in Andy's living room. This was a pretty good podcast. That was really good. Yeah. Even I like to listen to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I was surprised that we had such a uh, such a deep and, and long conversation about watch industry supply side and that's mm -hmm. super interesting yeah it's, it's interesting to talk about it from our perspective also to talk to someone mm -hmm. you know usually you don't have so many people to talk to and and yeah that's that's I think it's worth really listening we should do that more uh, it, I think it's interesting it's super important to talk and show the people how watches are made and who is making that and, and, and how they make it and why it's difficult and, uh, and, and, and what is the best practice behind it. And uh, also to demystify this whole in-house discussion in, in manufacture and industrial and whatever, you know. Um, the, that was a really, a really good conversation with, uh, with, with the Scottish watches guys. So. Yeah, and uh, um, you know, typically uh, media don't get that much time in in Switzerland. They either go into an event like Geneva Watch yeah, Days yeah. Or, or, or something like that and they, they don't they, they, they go to the booth, they see the watches, they talk with the, the sales rep or um, you know the owner, whoever it is, and they don't get actually a behind the scenes look into how these things are worked. Yeah. Are, are built. Maybe they're in the showroom or 
give us a little bit of a backdoor look at how things are, but we really toured them around. We, we took them to um, the different towns and took them to our manufacturing facility, actually where we're starting to um, machine some of our mm -hmm. stuff. So Andy already gave you a glimpse earlier, <laughs> uh, but uh, we, we showed them some of that stuff and uh, it was really great that they spent that amount of time yeah. because I think it's important that media spends that time to understand it so that they can better inform um, you know, uh, the enthusiast mm. because that's where you go to for information. I yep. mean, uh, there's, there's few brands doing what Andy and I are doing. We feel it's important that we relay what we're doing and being transparent with that. And uh, I think it's important that media take the time to, to learn more and educate yep. themselves on that because they know a lot about reference numbers and the history of, of watches. Um, yeah. But the actual processes involved in manufacturing, especially movements, is still very, very mm. undercovered mm. Uh, in the industry. Yeah, completely. Yeah. I mean, most of the companies don't talk about many things because effectively they also don't do it. Yeah. That's the point, you know. I mean, uh, we are sticking our hands in oil barrels, you know, up to here. Yeah. <laughs> And, and, and that's, that's part of watchmaking. It's not, it's not just um, nice trade shows and, and uh, nice decoration booths and things like this. At the end of the day, it's, it's a, a very mechanical exercise with a lot of machining and, and, a, and a lot of oil and, and all the stuff you need to, to make micro-mechanical parts in the thousands of a millimeter. And, and that's what I think is expected, that these brands who claim themselves to be a watch company get their hands dirty. It's not just a Photoshop design exercise for me. Yeah, well, and um, there are some that are getting their hands dirty, but it's yeah. very, very few. Yeah, that's what I expect. So, yeah. and, and I think um, as a customer, you probably can also expect that because yeah, otherwise we don't need to have all that story. Yeah, <laughs> and as always, if you want to come visit us and see yeah. exactly what we're doing. Did um, you want to know why, I, why someone is drinking a beer here? Yeah, well, Andy's been playing around, you know, <laughs> as, as you can probably tell, he's, uh, he's, uh, so. he's like a kid in the candy store when he gets into his... Uh, we don't, we don't have the screen share. Ah, ah, I'm, I'm a completely different thing here. You didn't tell me. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yeah, we, we, we got lost here. <laughs> Why did nobody say that we have the wrong slide? They, they, they don't listen anymore. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can only fit uh, the super. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Why do we have this picture? Um, we have in <laughs> this in this here is the first gear cut yeah. from our machine. And that's worth to drink a beer. So we were Portuguese and mm -hmm. uh, Swiss and Tegensee, of course, mm -hmm. my hometown beer, <laughs> which will be served tomorrow on our garden party. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so, yeah, and I said to the guys, when the first gear is falling off that machine, the first try, yeah. we drink a beer. Yeah. And that's why we drink that beer. And so, how does that machine look like? Yes. There we go. Lawrence, he's not so important. <laughs> <laughs> he's pretty important. He's uh, he's become a very. It's, it's, I just part made of a the, very the quick, very uh, a very quick. Actually, it's a Vali machine um, in that case, and uh, we bought it second hand mm -hmm. because you know, I mean, we need to try first. I mean, it could have been a complete sunk mm -hmm. money exercise, but somehow. Uh, we made our way into it with the help of, uh, of someone which we will introduce probably later next month. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we uh, have a few new hires. A few new hires yeah. and uh, yeah, and that's actually, you know, you have this, um, the, actually the gear holders are left and right, yeah. rotating that way. And the gear cutter then rolling, milling off the teeth into, into, the, into the raw pieces. Mm -hmm. So we are making, I don't know, 10, 20 on one shot. Okay. And that's how the machine works. And which gear was it specifically that was being cut? I, have, I had some vexel rod, some, yeah. some sort of vexel rod. Yeah. Okay. And, and you have different, of course, for, we have, I don't know, roughly 50 or 40 gears to cut, including mm -hmm. pinions. And you can pretty much do all of them 
on this machine. Okay. So once we have control over, and, and the trick is, is not the machine, you know, it's the tool making. You need to understand how to make these tools. It is not uh, in itself inherently complicated to program that. Every know, all the know-how is in the tool. Mm -hmm. And that's something, it's, it's, it's nothing you shop around the corner. You need long-term experience. And uh, yeah, and, and this beautiful gentleman here, uh, I like him. The beer drinking. The beer drinking guy. Yeah. And, and that's actually, this is one of those gears. Yeah. Through, yeah, this one. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will reveal who's that yeah. <laughs> hiding behind that <laughs> bottle of beer. <laughs> Important thing because uh, in the past we were getting our, our gears cut yeah. um, somewhere else. Yeah. And, uh, and now we're. we're yeah, now we have two possibilities. I mean, yeah. uh, just to make it clear, uh, we, we are not here to control. That was also the discussion with uh, Scottish watches, you know. Um, at a certain level as a company, you should think about uh, not, not a specific second source exercise because we are too small for that. Um, but at least having optionality when there's a machine breakdown or when a yeah. person is leaving a company and you have only one partner or, or option to do that, then you are done. Mm -hmm. And that's something we do not want and we have to avoid that. And that's why we need to go into our own manufacturing learn all that step by step, work together and keep good relations with, uh, with more than one supplier and together develop new technologies and, and then it is more stable and then we do not run into that problem we had mm -hmm. with, with the Tobio. And, and we've, we've solved those problems now. Yeah. And we are doing turning machines. And in that turning. case, you know, I mean, we, we, we go step by step. We, mm -hmm. we, we didn't buy a new machine uh, because yeah. it's expensive and we have no clue if we anyhow make it. Um, but we did make it. We did make it, and we did make <laughs> yeah. it pretty fast. <laughs> yeah. So really now fast. I think we have the full capabilities in future to uh, to machine all gears by ourselves, including titanium cages on yeah. the Turbio. If yeah. there is a new one, yeah. Yeah. Who, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> 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 yeah, but yeah. we we have turning machines, gear cutting, decoration. Yeah. Decoration yeah. machine also. Yeah. Uh, next time, I think we make a next time a, a live with more machining pictures from machining stuff. Yeah, we have to show. Like I mean, it's been a long time since we actually did a walkthrough. Yeah, next time we, we do a walkthrough. Much more hires. We have a, a decoration uh, location. Yeah, the uh, now. Uh, Geneva stripe machine. Yeah, came to us. Very nice. It's uh, Sylvan's toy. Yeah, he's been. He's getting crazy it on it. <laughs> looking at it, there's some vibration in there. I was like, where do you see that damn vibration? <laughs> yeah, there. And I said, yeah, okay, uh, then, then solve it. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think we are over. Yeah, uh, I think it's one you, hour. Yeah, we're one hour and we have to do something we else. We have another, another life. Yeah. But not for everybody, it's a private one. Yes. You know, yeah. private party. So if you have part of a watch group, yeah. uh, a red bar, what have you, um, or maybe it's one of your company's watch groups. Mm. Um, we're happy to organize. And, and you can also to choose people. topics. Yeah. So we can choose a specific topic to talk about if you want to have something specifically explained on uh, some machining process or some like, industry specific things. Like or we did with the Silicon Tech Talk. Silicon Tech Talk, for example, or, or yeah, what is CNC machining in general? Lead parts, what does that mean? Or mm -hmm. what is specifically T0? Or uh, what is the difference between manufacture and industrial? Mm -hmm. That's something which we are preparing, actually. It's very interesting. Um, it's not a lecture. <laughs> 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 Jonas is asking if Jonas is outside of her. He says, I need, we need a drink. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if any of you have seen Jonas, but he's the, the engineer. Behind, Get um, your head into yeah. that thing. Yeah, yeah, the guy yeah. Behind yeah. Uh, K2. <laughs> <laughs> but it's time for him to go and have a. We're gonna have a drink all together. Okay. Yeah. Good. All right. Party the friction. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think we need to. It's exactly one hour. It's exactly one hour. So just to recap, pre-orders going on until tomorrow, uh, two o'clock Swiss time. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, you can get us in the shop chat there or send an email. It'll be myself or Sue answering those and, and getting back to you. Um, and of course, 
we will do another pre-order. If you miss this one, we'll do another one um, in October. We'll mm -hmm. do the last one. And, uh, and that's about it for now. So. And we are heavy going into production. So actually we, are, mm -hmm. we have finished programming the base plates also for the okay. final check yeah. for SuperSeed. And then after that, we go directly into production mm -hmm. so that we can start doing T0 on the base plates all the other parts are in the next done three, anyways. four yeah. months. Yeah, we have. Uh, I mean, done. now we are cutting gears, mm -hmm. obviously, yeah. on supplier side and our own machine. And um, we have, uh, I mean, the balance wheels and all this stuff already here. So I think we will be pretty good in time this time. I, I can't see some serious bad stuff happening. Yeah, so well, it's nice to finally have the, the wheel in the a control. Hand, yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, we need that. And this, this, yeah. uh, it's uh, nerve-wracking. Yep. And somebody had asked Turbi on one update. So the last ones are going out in the next week. Ten days. Yeah. Then yeah. done. And that's done. Yeah. Turbi is done. All of them gone. And it feels good. Yeah. It's nice to see everybody posting the ones that have received them and putting yeah, them on Instagram picture, yeah. and sending us emails and everything else. It's been been a wait, but um, that process has enabled our our company to mature and mm. invest in these these new processes yeah and, and thanks and to the people you know yeah. i mean they supported us they 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 invested into that product and we in turn invested into um, trying to gain more independence mm -hmm. uh, being faster and getting this 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 story around the tourbillon to you and i think that's a that's a fair deal yep thanks. okay so thanks everybody we'll see you next time i press the button and then we still <laughs> <laughs>